in this video we will learn how to import a SAS data inside PROC IML that is the first thing we will learn we will also learn how to write an, uh, an IML module I'll start with how to import a SAS data set inside PROC IML PROC IML use and then give your data set name so I have created a dummy data set first ABC is my data set um, there are two variables in this data set A and B and then these are the values in the data set so if, if you know base SAS you, uh, you must be knowing that this is the syntax for creating a data set if I run this I will have data set ABC which will have two two variables A and B having values 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9 I'll use this data set. I write use then ABC, the name of the data set, and then write read all. So uh, when we do that, what happens is that PROC IML reads this data set ABC and each of its column become one matrix. So how many columns are there in data set ABC? There are two columns, column A and column B. So finally, we have two matrices in place of data set ABC. So there, there will be two matrices, matrix A and matrix B. So each of the column in the data set ABC is now a matrix. We can uh, we can do operation on this matrix separately. So let's print these two matrix. So I'll print matrix A as well as matrix B. So as you can see, so matrix A and matrix B are two different matrices and printed, printed differently. So they are not in, in a single data set anymore. If you want to print just one matrix also, you can print it. So let's print only matrix A. You can see only uh, matrix A is printed. So what if we want to have both the columns in a single matrix? Of course we can join it these two matrices here but during import we want to have just single matrix which will have both the columns column A and column B. All we need to do is that we need to use the word into and we need to give another name to the matrix which will have both the columns. So let's give it C. So AB will be there in matrix C and then let's print matrix C here. You can look at the syntax. We, we uh, use the use keyword to import this data set ABC read all into C you can see in the result so C has got both A and B and you don't have different columns remember this is not a data set so you won't have columns in place so the matrix has only rows and uh, you know columns but your columns are not separately given I mean you don't have a name for these columns it's just a single matrix having uh, you know 
three rows and two columns. Next thing that we will learn here is what if you have a matrix and you want to convert it into a SAS data set. So it's essentially the opposite. Like we have a matrix here C, right? So we have used this data set ABC and we have formed a matrix C. So remember what is the difference between a data set, SAS data set and a matrix. The difference is that you have a physical location of the data set. If you go to the SAS library, you will find in my work library, library data set ABC is there. You can see here, uh, well, I don't know whether you can, you can see it in my screen, but if you go to work library, data set ABC will be there. But here, here, uh, matrix C will will not be saved in your work library. So that's the basic difference between a matrix and a SAS data set. So matrix doesn't have a physical location is entirely different than, than a SAS data set. So how do we convert a matrix to a SAS data set? Okay. So we first learned how to convert um, a SAS data set into a matrix and now we will study the reverse. Now we have uh, you know data uh, matrix C right. Let's do some operation on that and then we will learn how to convert a matrix into a SAS data set. So let's have a uh, matrix named as um, D. So matrix D is nothing but square of matrix C. Okay. And let's print D first. So you can see matrix D is nothing but the square of matrix C. Now we want to create a SAS data set out of matrix D. How do we do that? We write create. We will give the name of the data set as IML data. So I am creating a data set IML data. Where will it be stored? This will be this data set will be stored in the work library. So what is a work library? Work library is a SAS library which is a temporary library. You can Go to your explorer and see uh, where, where this data set is. I mean, you, you go to explorer and you will go to your uh, work library and there this data set will be saved. Okay. So create, then give your data set name. You can give any name, semicolon, append from D. Okay. SAS is not case sensitive so you can use small letter as well as uh, the big letter so it doesn't matter capital or small it doesn't matter if you go to log it says that the data set Work dot IML data has three observation and two variables. That means now your data set is created. So that's how you convert a matrix to a SAS data set. We can of course look at the data set also. I'll go to the go to my work library and then I'll open IML data. So you can see the values here. 
So what about the columns? Of course, you can change the name of the columns later on. You can always give names to them. So while converting also, you can give names. But after that also, in a separate data statement, you can always change the name of these columns. SAS gives some default uh, column names. So you can see, uh, you know, the uh, matrix D is now uh, in the data set form. Earlier it was in the uh, matrix form. The last thing that we learned in this session is how to write a SAS module. SAS module or IML module is, is nothing but a function that you might have written in uh, other programming languages. What essentially you do in a SAS module is that you uh, write a business logic inside this function which is uh, which is called again and again and you can do a lot of computation uh, by calling it again and again. So what functionality I want to uh, uh, teach you. So I, I, I'll teach you how to you know add two numbers. This is a very simplest form of uh, simplest form of operation that you can do with two numbers. You can when you add two numbers, uh, you, you get the sum of uh, sum of these numbers, right? So how do we do that using a SAS module or, or IML module rather? Proc IML. So you write it with start so start is the keyword and then you give your number i'm sorry you give your uh, you know name of the module i have given it su double m and then in bracket you have its parameters a and b that means this module will be able to give you sum of two numbers so a and b are the given numbers or the inputs to this module Inside, I am giving the uh, logic or the algorithm. So sum is nothing but A plus P. And then I am writing print sum. I finish this module with finish sum. So till this part, it start with start sum. And then inside I am writing my logic and, or algorithm. Then I am ending it with finish statement. So that's how my module is written. I call this module separately with the call statement, call, then module name, and then in bracket you can give any two number. Okay, I have given two and three. And let's run this. So it gives you five. Let's give something else, some bigger number. So this is the sum of the two numbers. To summarize, we learned how to import SAS data inside Proc IML. We also learned how to create a SAS data from IML matrices. And finally, we learned how to write a SAS module or a Proc IML module. And then how to call that module and use that for, for uh, you know, different kind of operation. So I, I, I have given it uh, only for addition. You can, uh, you know, you can implement any kind of functionality by writing a uh, IML module.